Welcome to Asuncion in Paraguay. Paraguay against Colombia, both countries with serious ambitions to qualify for the 1990 World Cup Finals. Only one team can go through, though, from this Group 2, the winners of the group, and they'll face the winners of the Oceania section, that's Israel, in a playoff home and away. So it's a, a long road ahead, and this is a crucial game for both these nations. One game in the group so far, Colombia got off the mark with a 2-0 home win against Ecuador. Paraguay taking the field in World Cup competition in this sequence of qualifying games for the first time. They've got a side with a lot of experience from the 86 finals when they gave a good account of themselves. Caceres, Zavala and the much capped Torales and Delgado were all there in Mexico, as was Guash and Nunes, the old grey fox, the left-sided midfield player. Romero, known as Romarito in these parts. Nefa is only 17, so he's one of the new generation. And Cayetano Rey just reappointed as the coach of Paraguay only a matter of days ago, but he was the coach in 1986. Paraguay qualified in 1930, 1950, 1958, and then that long gap until the uh, last competition three years ago. They're a poor country, really, with uh, a population of around three million. Most of their players earn their living outside Paraguay. And amongst the substitutes, Fernandez was a goalkeeper in 86, as was Ferreira, a fine attacking player down the left side, but he's only a substitute in this particular selection. Colombia come here with their home country in turmoil, of course, with the political upheavals against the drug barons. And the players perhaps finding it a little hard to concentrate on the matter in hand. We shall only wait and see. Higuita, the goalkeeper, celebrating his 23rd birthday today. And a lot of quality in their midfield. The number 12, Carlos Valderrama, really has made a, a worldwide reputation in recent years. And Redin, the number 10, is not far behind him in talent. Up front, Galliano and Iguaran, who got both goals a week ago against Ecuador. And the coach is Pancho Maturana. The referee comes from Chile. Hernan Silva, a bright afternoon, and uh, we've got an interloper. <laughs> There's a dog on the pitch. Well, you learn to expect the unusual in South American football, and that might delay the, uh, the kickoff as we look courtesy of the Paraguayan television director at the Colombian substitutes. Now, these teams met recently in the Copa America, the South American Cup, when Paraguay did particularly well in the first phase and qualified for the latter stages. And they beat Colombia 1-0 in the first group games with a goal from Mendoza. All the officials from Chile. So it's going to be Colombia to kick off and Valderrama with that pullet-like hairstyle. I'm not sure who came first, really. But Carlos Valderrama doesn't need hair of that distinctive nature to be noticed on the pitch. Nefa will wear number nine, Mendoza at number 11. That's a change from the list we were originally given. Not a change in personnel, just a change in numbers, and Colombia have done the same as the game goes underway. Galliano and Hoyos. 
have been given different numbers from the what we thought to be official list, but the match has started and the Paraguayans will really need to make the most of home advantage. All the speculation around the game is that Colombia will mass their midfield and just look to play a little on the break and they can do that with the range of passing that Valderrama has and Redin as well. Nunes. One of the Paraguayans who plays his league football in Colombia and uh, although the game has begun, the dog wants to join in. And this is quite extraordinary. The stadium so well policed against some uh, two-footed invaders, or the threat of that. And our four-legged friend has got on again. <laughs> now, who's going to be brave enough here? You're never quite sure with stray dogs, are you? With uh, a risk of rabies, if the animal isn't quite as friendly as it might look. Well, the referee unabashed. Nunes trying to get an early grip, really, in midfield for Paraguay. The header there from Zavala. There's some fairly tough defenders Paraguay can call upon, notably Delgado, who earns his living in Argentina. With Independiente, there he is. With... Uh, a timely tackle in terms of uh, the point I was about to make, but not so timely as far as Galliano was concerned. And now we are going to have to rid the pitch of the intruder. Well, we'll learn a little bit about the characters of one or two individual players here. Everyone saying, after you, Claude, or after you, Carlos, should we say. Iguita's got the gloves, now uh, that should give him a bit of protection. The animal hasn't actually revealed which side it would like to play on. But it hasn't shown either any reluctance to depart. The crowd quite patient. <laughs> well, that's uh, Ramon Hicks, the Paraguayan with the English name. And the English father as well. Well, that's uh, not going to ingratiate the players to the animal rights followers. Throwing the ball and one or two other objects at the dog that shows every sign of being a big-time performer here. Now Delgado's going across. Now that would frighten quite a lot of opponents of his and yes Rogelio Delgado is shepherding the dog towards the exit <laughs> he's not back out again and Delgado is going to make another tackle <laughs> well it's somewhat softened the mood which with these game's been played over such a short time, the importance is almost magnified and there is always the risk of tension spilling over to some bad behaviour on the pitch, but I think that's softened things a little, at least for the moment. The clearance from Perea. Nunes with a throw. Paraguay lining up with Nepa up front with Hicks. Caceres, the right back. There's a lot of experience in the centre of their defending Paraguay, but they've given the ball away to Galeano. And then Iguaran, who can be so dangerous, as Ecuador found out a week ago, even at the age of 32. Colombia played 
Paraguay in the 87 South American Cup. And Iguaran got a hat trick then. A 4 1 win. Here's Hicks, one of ten children from the English father. Caceres. Nicely down by Hicks. But the cross is... Oh, an awkward one for the goalkeeper, Iguita, coming on the bounce. Hicks went to play in Spain after the 86 World Cup Finals. When Paraguay reached the last 16. Well done, getting a foot in. One back by Mendoza. Cross towards Hicks, but the flag was up for offside. The Paraguay style under Cayetano Ray in the past. He's an old World Cup veteran from the 58 finals. Oh, and Delgado already has put his rather nasty trademark on this game. I was going to say he deservedly gets the yellow card here. The Paraguay play a direct form of football, rather in contrast to other South American nations. And uh, that was a very cynical piece of play by Delgado. Well, Paraguay dealing with a free kick and looking to counter-attack here with the speed of Nefa, still only 17. And he's just freshened the mix a little bit for Paraguay in their recent selections. A lot depending on uh, Romero's contribution in midfield. He spent last season with Barcelona. This is Alvarez. Nunes, who's built so sturdily, he's got legs like tree trunks. And using them to make that tackle on the number 14, Leonel Alvarez. Valderrama. Alvarez, Valderrama couldn't control as the header came his way. And it's Hoyos, the left back, who stepped in. Romero playing on the right hand side of midfield. was uh, Wilson Perez well Delgado got a card but the referee shows nothing to the Colombia right back and it was a fairly violent challenge zavala has gone forward Nunes, who can deliver the ball so well, and it's made very nearly the opening goal. It was Nefa who headed powerfully and with good accuracy as well, but Iguita made an athletic save here as the flick-on came into a pack of Paraguayans there, and Nefa Denied by a fine save by René Iguita. 
Colombia drawn towards the first ball in and didn't deal with the flick until the goalkeeper bailed them out. And he started the match on his 23rd birthday, Igita, in excellent fashion. Nepal letting it run. And that was disappointing, and if you do make a mistake at this level of the game, in front of such partisan fans as Paraguay's are, then the reaction is likely to be a little bit hostile. Guash came across then and gave away the free kick. Redin plotting over the taking of it with Hoyos. Here's Redin. Valderrama has had most of the publicity of Colombia's success as a result of Colombia's success in building a much more capable team in the 80s, but Redin, the number 10, really is a comparable player. Hoyos. Free kick given against Iguaran. Chilavet, the goalkeeper, plays his football in Spain with Zaragoza. He didn't take part in the Copa America, but they've got him back for the World Cup qualifiers. Romero. A former South American footballer of the year, Julio Romero. Romerito played in the United States with New York Cosmos. And every time Romerito plays for Paraguay, the expectations on him are huge. Oyos. Neither side really has taken a firm grip yet on the game, although Paraguay have made the one opening for Nefa's header. Valderrama almost leisurely keeping the ball then until X fouled him. He's something of a strolling player. He's been in France with Montpellier, and they've likened him there to a Colombian Platini. High praise. But I'm battling away and pressing Delgado. He got around the number 16. And it was a, a decision that went to Paraguay's way. A push by Iguaran on the bearded Delgado. Qualify for the uh, 1986 World Cup Finals, Paraguay did be beat Colombia, so Colombia with something of a score to settle here. And looking to push players forward quite impressively when they do get possession in midfield, that's Alvarez with the shot. And there were others up with him, three in the centre. Run back by Paraguay with Romero getting the tackle in and now the right back Virginio Caceres with a throw. The surface isn't the truest that you would expect to find at this level of the game, although South American players usually so adept to controlling the ball, but just as we say that, Paraguay give it away. And with Galliano waiting in the centre, it was good judgment by Chilavert to come and claim the cross. The bounce is a little awkward, the bobbles will be difficult to control.
but South American World Cup football is a spectacle of its own unique kind and you can be sure whatever happens here there'll be something that you'll take away as a special memory it might be a great goal a, a clever piece of ball juggling on a difficult surface or a, a display of petulance above and beyond what's often on view for the European viewer and spectator Clever interplay like Paraguay putting together here. But Valderrama finding space and the ball attracted to him as though he was the magnet. Here he is again. He's just loitering on that right-hand side. Watching Paraguay develop an attack and suddenly the ball twice with Valderrama and Colombia haven't lost it since then. Second shot of the game, and Chilavet is annoyed that he wasn't closed down. It was a lazy swing of the right leg, but the ball sped off with terrific power. And it flew past the goalkeeper to his left, and he was relieved to see it go on past that post. Surprised by the power, Chilavet. goalkeeper was covering that side of the goal too and yet he still wasn't able to make a save came to him just on the bounce that replay uh, from the camera on the 18 yard line just uh, showing perhaps why Chilavert was getting extra problems with the shot but it was a good effort from Leonel Alvarez 24 year old midfield player debut in 1987 for Colombia. And again, Colombia are lacking in the air. And this time it was Romero who got forward unattended. Colombia hoping for offside, but it wasn't forthcoming. This will give us a linesman's eye view of it, and it was right that the flag stayed down. It was a good opening. And Paraguay now have had two of those, both with headers. Wilson Perez with a tackle. Redin bounced up and uh, might have been handball against him, but in fact it was dangerous play given against the Paraguayan midfielder Guash. Oyos wanting too long and then having to redeem himself with a foul. Free kick to be taken.